my name is Derek Liddington, uh, and I'm working on the piece Allegory for a Rock Opera. Uh, it is sort of like a work that combines uh, a bunch of histories, uh, looking at the history of art, looking at the history of the working class, and to try to create a sub-history that's sort of uh, very folly in its nature. So a history that is a proposition, but also maybe a possible future and, uh, and a possible history of what we're looking at for the working class. I'm working at, at a, right in this uh, building right here, under the Omni building, so under the overhang. Uh, so it'll be like an outdoor installation, hopefully the, the opera part will be very sort of vibrant and will draw people in, but it'll also be over the overhang, so if we get any, uh, any rain, then we're good. Uh, we'll be laying down AstroTurf all inside, and I'll be building a room that'll be a replica of Jeff Wall's destroyed room from uh, 1978, and there'll be um, a white picket fence on the outline, so it'll be its own kind of uh, sculpture. And then from there, there'll be two opera singers uh, singing on the half hour, back and forth to each other, uh, born to run and born in the USA, in Italian, in operatic style. A lot of my work was autobiographical, originally, like using myself, and then uh, trying to tag on to the history of uh, artists such as Rodney Graham and Jeff Wall and Tim Lee, um, mainly working out of Vancouver. And then I started thinking about it as like looking at my own kind of history and, and my reference points in the popular culture I look at. A lot of movies from the 80s, um, a lot of things were referencing, the music I was listening to were referencing this kind of working class, like the ballads of the working class, these anthems to what the working class was, which was all false, all created through these anthems. So I thought, what if I started kind of creating my own working class history based on everything that I look at in both art history and both popular culture, and what that could mean, and how I could maybe propose something a bit different. So I, I wanted to have an intensity about it, like uh, like listening to Bad to Hell, you know, Meatloaf's kind of epic album. You sit down, you listen to it, you're just like, wow, that's incredible. And that's the sort of kind of feeling I want people to get is that when they're walking around here at night and they're, and they're just kind of like bombarded by all this work, to just hear this like kind of ballad being like kind of beckoning them to come in and check it out. The two years ago, I, I'd never been to Nuit Blanche before and I came to Toronto. I was living in London, Ontario, and there was this family on like four bikes riding around at like two in the morning looking at art. And so to me, that kind of like summed it up. It was just a chance to get out there and, and to see work and to not feel uh, like you couldn't go into a space or, or galleries can sometimes be standoffish. And this is like an opportunity just to experience it and hopefully catch some people and get them interested in, in the visual arts.